A Bay Area high school student is making waves in the science world. Yi Sun of the Harker School in San Jose won second place in the prestigious Intel Science Talent Search in Washington, D.C., and he won a $75,000 college scholarship. He beat out more than 1,500 seniors, and he joins us this morning here. Just got back from D.C. Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm very excited. <laughs> And actually, still shocked. But You're shocked. Yeah. It was actually when they read out the second place, and then I was pretty sure that I wouldn't be getting anything mm -hmm. because they said the winners from 10th through 1st. So I, I really didn't think it went that well. So the first place winner won $100,000. Yeah. And then the second place, of course, you get $75,000. And of course, you're going to use that to go to college. Yeah. Where would you like to go to school? Um, I, I was accepted to Harvard Early Action, so probably either there or MIT or Caltech. That's, but I still haven't heard from them. That's so. fantastic. Congratulations just on that. Let's yeah. put this in perspective for everybody. Now, past winners of Intel's Talent Search have gone on to win six Nobel Prizes, two Field Medal Awards, and ten MacArthur Genius Grants. Pretty impressive stuff. Do you plan to follow in their footsteps? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> well, let's so, talk about what, what it is that you discovered. So I studied a mathematical structure called random walk, a random walk. So what that is, is if you have a man who's walking on a grid, and at every time step, he moves in one of the four possible directions randomly, then the path he traces out is called a random walk. And what I actually studied was the number of rotations that the man would make around a point on the grid. So I was able to determine a formula for the average number of rotations given a certain length of walk. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds pretty impressive. <laughs> Don't really quite get it. I'm just kidding. But it sounds really impressive. How, it, how is significant is this? How are people hoping to use your discovery? Well, it is a theoretical math project, mm -hmm. but I guess it can be applied to modeling polymer behavior. Because if you look at the path the man traces out, it's sort of equivalent to how a polymer grows. So the number of rotations that the polymer makes around a point can be viewed as a measure of its strength. And how did you come up with this? Well, it's, it's related to actually a different math problem mm -hmm. about a man who's walking on a sort of spiral staircase-like structure that's called a Riemann surface. So I was looking at that problem, and it sort of led me to this one. So what is everybody saying? What do your parents think? What are your friends and family? What are they saying? Well, they're definitely very excited, I guess, and happy. Mm -hmm. What do you hope to do in the future? Well, I hope to go to college, and mm -hmm. I guess I'll study math and physics there. And for a career, I guess I'd like to do research in probably one of those two fields. Oh, that's incredible. And uh, how do you, you know, what do you say to other aspiring scientists? Uh, well, I guess when, when I started learning science, I learned many different fields of science very early. So mm -hmm. that really helped me in being able to make connections between different fields. Start so, early. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you say to your teachers at Harker School? Uh, I'd like to thank them for all the support they've given me and everything they've taught me. I mean, they basically taught me everything. Has it all sunk in? I really don't think so yet. <laughs> $75,000 winning this prestigious Intel Science Talent Search. Yisun, congratulations. Thank and you. And good luck to you in the future. Not that you need it. And um, thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you. Well, more rain as we near the end of the week.